Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Michael and I am very pregnant and very over it. So <laughs> today, I thought it would be fun to show you guys everything that I have packed in my hospital bag and hospital bag for little Lou. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna be showing you guys what's in Miguel's hospital bag because he hasn't packed it yet. Honestly, it's probably just gonna be like a pair of pants and a t-shirt, so. Oh my God. I have all of baby girl stuff packed in her diaper bag. And then I got this bag sent to me with my breast pump and it has all my stuff in it. And those are the only two bags that I am bringing and then Miguel is going to bring just a little bag with his clothes in it and that's it. So I thought it'd be fun today to go through them, show you guys what I'm bringing. I feel like I am not bringing as much as what a lot of people do. So I might be really underpacked and underprepared to go to the hospital, but we live 15 minutes away from our hospital. So if my mom needs to like bring something for us, we're fine, you know, no biggie. So before we jump in, I get a lot of questions about like, how do you know what to pack in your hospital bag? I personally watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'll link a couple that I find helpful if you guys wanna go watch those. I also looked at templates. I'll put a couple on the screen that I really liked. You can find these on Pinterest, just literally typing in like hospital bag, what to pack in my hospital bag, and it will give you a checklist of what to bring. I'm gonna start out with my stuff and then we'll move on to hers. So like I said, I'm just bringing this bag. Let's see what's in it. I don't even know. On the outside, I have a little scrunchie and my AirPods, they're charged. And then in this pocket, I have a charging block that is charged as well as a long phone charger. This one reaches like pretty far, but I wanted to bring a block just in case, you know, you never know. I also have two masks, these are both new, and then a sleeping like eye mask that says napping for two, very cute, and some gum. That's the outside, let's go to the inside. Okay, first things first is snacks. Everybody says to bring a couple of snacks. I'm sure when I go into labor, we'll probably grab a few more, but I have two different granola bars. I enjoy both of these. I have dried mango slices. I love these, they're from Trader Joe's. And then Reese's peanut butter cups, cause that's my favorite. Like I said, we'll probably grab more snacks, but that's what we've got for right now. And then I just have two toiletry things. In here, my toiletry bag is in my diaper bag. I have this cooling foot and leg cream from Bella B. It is so, so nice. I love rubbing it like on my tummy or on my legs or my back. It just gives you this nice like minty cool feeling so i thought this would be really nice in labor and then also like afterwards so i'm bringing this with me as well as this peri bottle they do give you one of these in the hospital but it doesn't have this fancy little thingamajig which makes it easy you know because it like shoots up yeah, I bought this on Amazon for like $7. I will link it down below. So I'm bringing this. Obviously you don't need that, but I did purchase it just cause I figured it would be so much easier. Okay, now clothes. I have this little pouch right here. It's like a smaller pouch that has two different nursing bras. This one is one that you just pull down and this one is a clip down one. I don't know which one I'm gonna want to use more and I may wanna use both, so. I have these huge underpanties. I'm bringing them. I know that they're not a necessity. They're gonna give me like disposable underwear, but I am bringing like three or four pairs just in case these are more comfortable comfortable or I don't know on the way home who knows and then I also got one pair of the freedom mom disposable underwear that I'm bringing I got this in like a little goodie bag so I'm bringing those with me 
I am not bringing any pads, any dermaplast, any tucks, anything like that. I know that they're gonna have all that stuff at the hospital, so there's literally no point in me bringing it. I'm not bringing diapers for myself. Like, they're gonna have all that jazz. Don't need it. Okay. So for in labor, I have this pair of socks. <coughs> oh my God, am I okay? I have this pair of socks that I was gifted that have the little like grippies on the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna wear these in labor, but I'm gonna bring them just in case. I also have this nightgown that I got from Goodwill that has the top on it that kind of, you can like pull down for easy access to the boob. It's dark, so you know, any blood or guts that get on it is no big deal. And it's a nightgown, so easy access to underneath. I think that that's gonna be really nice to have either in labor or after I give birth. Okay, next I'm bringing, this is just a tank top, like a little crop tank top. It is summertime, so I'm not sure how hot I'm gonna be in the hospital and during labor. I'm bringing a pair of leggings. I really debated on this because I don't think that I'm gonna wear them. I think they're gonna be too tight. I'm not gonna wanna deal with them. But I have heard of people saying that they wish they would have brought something tight to the hospital because everything just feels so loose and gross. So I'm bringing these just in case, but I highly doubt that I will actually wear them. And they're black, so any nastiness that gets on them, it's all good. The next outfit that I'm bringing is this super flowy top. It's just a t-shirt that I got at Goodwill with some black biker shorts, very stretchy, very black. <laughs> so that's just another option of something I can wear after I give birth and then a pair of fuzzy socks. And then for my coming home outfit, I just have another pair of biker shorts. I have a feeling this is what I'm gonna wear home because they're so comfortable and stretchy and big and nice. And then this is the shirt that I'm gonna wear home. Okay, it doesn't have her name on it, but these are lyrics from the song that she is named after. So I'm gonna wear this shirt and then Miguel is going to wear this Beatles shirt. I do have this shirt in my hospital bag because if I told him to make sure he had it, he would probably forget it. So. This is his shirt that he will be wearing home from the hospital. It's like a whole thing, cause like, you know, the theme and whatever. And that's it for my hospital bag. So throw all that back in there and then we'll, I'll repack it later. Cute. Okay. <laughs> now moving on to her diaper bag, her hospital bag. I have this cute little compartment in the back. It has a changing pad that comes with the diaper bag that's in here. And then I also have this uh, little wet bag that I got from Target. Just in case she has any accidents or anything like that and I need to like throw her a onesie in it or something like that, you know what I mean? Then I also have in the back this folder. It's got my information that I need for the hospital as well as some positions for labor to be able to remind myself and Miguel more positions for labor. Um, also just some like breastfeeding reminders, things that, you know, I feel like will be useful to have on hand. I also have these little things that I printed off. They're just like labor affirmations for Miguel or my mom to say to me or me to like recite to myself. We're bringing all of that stuff. I just have that back here in this cute little folder, this cute little pocket. All right, so I don't have anything in this front pocket or these two side ones. Everything is just smashed in here. So first thing is my heating pad. I am bringing this because those after labor contractions I've heard are not fun. And also if I'm having any like back labor, this will be really nice. So I am bringing that. And then my toiletry bag will go through really quick. First thing I have is sunscreen moisturizer. I have a very dry face. I'm gonna need this. I'm bringing a comb. I got this one from Dollar Tree. So if it gets lost or broken, no biggie. I'm bringing a razor. 
in case I feel like I need to shave my armpits. I don't know, you know. Brush and toothpaste. I'm bringing makeup wipes. I am planning on putting a little bit of makeup on when I go into labor. We'll see how well that goes, but I'm bringing makeup wipes. I have a tiny deodorant, a tiny conditioner. This is my face wash. Yeah, this is my face wash. This is my shampoo. And then this is my body wash. I'm bringing some lotion. I know I have the cooling lotion, but this one's just like a normal one if I wanna put lotion on my hands or my feet or something like that. I'm bringing this belly oil. I don't think I'm gonna need it, but it is very little and compact, so I just thought I would throw it in there. Bringing contacts. Um, I am probably gonna wear glasses in labor. I'm not totally sure. We'll see how that goes. And then I'm bringing this little tiny nipple cream. I don't think that I'm gonna need nipple cream in the hospital because I won't have been breastfeeding long enough for anything to be cracked and sore. But this one's tiny, it fits in my bag, doesn't take up any room. So I am going to bring it just in case. You never know, you know what I mean? I'd rather have a little tiny one and be like, oh, I'm glad that I brought this. And it all fits perfectly in this little bag. Oh, I also have my makeup bag that will go in my hospital bag. Let me show you what's in there. This is the makeup bag that I'm bringing. Everything that I am bringing to the hospital is already in here. So I'm bringing this e.l.f. setting spray. It's really nice. I actually really enjoy it. So taking that. I'm taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this concealer. It stays all day. Very good. Highly recommend. My bronzer and my blush. I'm bringing a waterproof mascara. This one is from Maybelline. It's not my favorite, but it works good. And then this uh, brow pomade and brow brush from L'Oreal. And then just my two brushes. That's all the makeup that I'm bringing. That's what I use every day and all I'm gonna need in labor. Okay, moving on to the exciting things, what I'm bringing for Miss Girl. Okay, so first thing, I have four newborn diapers. I know that I don't need them, but I am just bringing them in case we have to make a stop on the way home, something like that. You never know. In the next little pocket, I have this sample of water wipes. These are my favorite wipes and fits perfectly in the little slot, as well as this sample of storage bags and nursing pads. Just very compact and it fits in there. I know I'm not gonna need these right now, but I'm just putting them in there for now. And then I'm also bringing these two disposable nursing pads. I know my milk is not gonna come in while I'm in the hospital. I know that I'm just bringing them in case I need them god forbid you know whatever and then just one little burp cloth I know that they're gonna have some if I need them but I figure why not bring one like I said if I something happens on the way home I don't know I'm just trying to be a little prepared I'm also bringing this pacifier clip and it already has her passy on it I have sanitized this one. This is the only pacifier that I'm bringing to the hospital because if she doesn't like this one, they have other ones that they will give her. So, and it's already on a clip because I don't wanna lose it. In the next pocket, I have this. It's a nursing cover and it also is a car seat cover. I bought this on Facebook Marketplace for like literally five bucks and I love it. It's very soft. Like I said, don't think I'm gonna need it, but God forbid if we have to stop on the way home. In the next pocket, we have this muslin swaddle. This one has little stars on it. Can you see them? Hey, Miss Beauty Influencer. Look at that. So stinking cute. Um, this is the only muslin swaddle that I'm bringing. They're gonna have blankets for her. I don't need to bring a thousand. In the bigger pocket right here, you can't see, we have all of her clothes and also um, I am bringing this little sleep sack swaddle. I don't think we're probably gonna use it in the hospital, but I'm bringing it just in case you never know. You know what I mean? Rather have it and not need it. For newborn outfits, I am planning on her being 
pretty tiny. So I packed newborn and then I brought a couple zero to three things just in case she's a little bit bigger. But I'm planning on her coming home outfit to be this little star onesie with these little gray sweatpants. I know it's gonna be hot, but she's gonna be so little. Like, ugh, I just don't want her coming home in just a onesie. You know what I mean? Like that just kinda, I don't know, it scares me. So I'm planning on this being her coming home outfit as well as these things. I have these little pink mittens to go on her hands and these pink fuzzy socks. I don't think that these are gonna stay on her feet, nor do I think she's gonna need them because it's gonna be so hot, but I am bringing them just in case. And then I'm bringing three different bows to go with that outfit because I don't know which one I'm gonna like the best. They all look very similar. This one's super tiny. So I'm bringing these three options. And then another option for coming home outfit or just an outfit for her to have in the hospital. I have this little newborn button. <laughs> Hello sister, okay. I have this little button up onesie. It is long sleeve. I figure if it's a little bit colder in the hospital, she can wear this. I know everybody says like, don't do the whole button thing because it really sucks, but it's cute and that's all. And then I also have this little pair of newborn pants. They're like little jeggings just in case. That's just another outfit. And then I have this little nightgown thing. It's got the elastic at the bottom so you can easily just pull it up. No zippers, no snaps. Easy, good to go for her to sleep in. It's a newborn size. I found it at Goodwill and it comes with the little mittens already on it. How cute is that? And then for zero to three months, I brought this little onesie that snaps down. It's just gray, very cute and simple. I brought this little onesie. It's got gray stars on it. In case she's bigger, this will be the onesie that she wears home from the hospital. And then this sleeper, this one's a zip up one and it's just got little clouds and bunnies on it. Can you even see that? Probably not, but it's very cute and I like it. And straight up, I think that that's it. As far as her clothes and stuff go, I'm not planning on bringing a pillow to the hospital. I know everybody says to bring one. I think Miguel will probably bring one. And then if I really need it, I'll just steal his. But I am bringing my own blanket. This is my burrito blanket. I'll link it on Amazon. It's my favorite. It's very compact and soft. So I'm taking this as well as bringing my boppy. I figure, you know, I can use it as a nursing pillow, but I can also use it as a regular pillow if I want to. I've also heard that these are like really nice to sit on after you give birth because everything feels so like swollen and stuff. So I'm bringing this as well. And I think, genuinely, I think that that's it. Like I said, I am not packing a lot to bring to the hospital. I don't wanna be an overpacker. Um, last minute, I will throw in my computer and my computer charger, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, 15 minutes away from the hospital, so if my mom needs to run home and bring me something, it's not a big deal. And I would rather have what I need and that's it than like way too much stuff. You know what I mean? I don't wanna be one of those people rolling up to the hospital with a suitcase. You know, I'm not moving in. I'm not planning on staying. We're gonna get it done and go. You know what I mean? So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if there's something you think I am forgetting that I absolutely need to bring or was a lifesaver for you. Yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for following along. We've got four weeks left until my due date. I don't think I'm gonna last that long. I went to the doctor today, you guys, and I'm one centimeter dilated, which is insane. I'll show you my tummy. That's what she's looking like. One centimeter dilated, ready to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I'm out of breath. I love you guys. Come back next week. Her nursery tour will also be up very soon. So get excited.